good morning good afternoon good evening depending on your time and depending on when you're going to be seeing this video it's about your boy cost reps corner like i always tell you guys it's my corner it's your corner and it's a corner i don't wanna fall in love this will be the very first time I will be seeing a Nortana who came out to say this. I, for one, I did my national youth service at a place called Yabo Government Science Secondary School, Yabo Local Government of Sokoto State. I lived with them for a year and because I did my service, my one year composite national service in the north. For a northern to come out and make such a video, I believe the young man has seen a lot of things. Sorry to say, but that's the truth. Northerners are very, 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 very poor. But they are the ones that produce the leaders of the country, Nigeria. Most of the northerners are at the end of affairs. Most of the Northerners are the ones who have led more than other parts of Nigeria. Now, for this particular Northerner to come out and make this video, it means he has gotten it up to his, to his throat. He is saying that the major problem of the Federal Republic of Nigeria are Northerners. And he gave examples and gave reasons why he said that. I tell you, if you look at the reason he said or the reason he gave, you will know that yes, he said the truth. But he also made a very shocking revelation. Why not give the Igbo a chance? Because why? He also gave reasons. The Igbos are these, the Igbos are survivors. That's what he said. I wasn't the one that said it. Somebody will say, are you sure he's really a Northerner? He's a Northerner. There is a way Northerner speaks. There's nothing you can change about it. There's a way Northerner act, behave, talk dress you cannot take it away from the person so he's really a northerner and for you to come out and have said this which means he had really felt that yes it is very important for us to open up and say the truth at some petty as at some given time and i was really wow and i said no i have to share this video how true is it that he said the problem nigeria is facing are from the northerner this one is from the northern why not give the Igbo man a chance anyway guys i don't want to talk on his behalf I just say let me show you so that you hear what a northern said for a northern to have come out to make this video that means he had really gotten it and he was really fed up okay i haven't said i know thank you for always watching my content thank you so much for your love and the care for those of us who have not subscribed but follow us on the channel platform please i beg you subscribe to channel like comment and share so i can move this ministry to the prime minister come away next time to see me your screen guys i leave us with this video of a northern who came out to say that they should try to see check if the northerners can give the ebos the chance to rule the federal republic of nigeria let's go watch together come let me tell you the major problem of nigeria the major problem of nigeria is northern part of the country, northern Nigeria, are the major problem of Nigeria. If you want to see conflict, northern Nigeria, rape, northern Nigeria, refugees, northern Nigeria, thieves. In fact, if you want to see thieves stealing on an industrial scale, come to northern Nigeria. Thieves fully engaged in primitive accumulation, come to northern Nigeria. In fact, I am from northern Nigeria. I am proud to be an indigenous of Borno State. I am from Borno State. I am proud to be an indigenous of Borno State from the northern part of the country. But I want to tell you that the major problem of this country is northern part of the country. These are people, if you want to see hatred, if you want to see conflict, if you want to see nepotism, cronyism, any other thing you can label. In fact, northern problem, if you carve out southern part of the country from Nigeria and give it 10 years, they are going to be recognized among community of nations because of the development they will have. 70% of the people who govern this country are from the northern part of the country. But if you want to see hunger, starvation, and any other thing, it's from the north. Why? We are the major problem. But our people doesn't want us to be speaking the truth. And that is why we continue to somersault in this kind of issue. So please, me, I am on the opinion. 2027, let's give Igbo a chance. Because I strongly believe, in fact, I am enthusiastically strong belief that the the Igbos can be able to handle this country's affairs because they have economic infrastructure to face this country. Look at what is happening today. 
Look at what is happening today. In fact, on a daily basis, on our television screen, what you see, there are sad news. There are sad news. There is no single thing, no opportunity that has not been given to the northern part of the countries, but they have not been utilizing it appropriately. So please, let's give Igbo a chance. That is my opinion. Let's give Igbo a chance. I strongly believe Igbo can be able to handle this country economy. Let's give Igbo a chance. That is my opinion. Me, I'm speaking my opinion. And because I'm saying we should give Igbo a chance, let's keep our, our differences aside. Let's keep the issue of ethnicity aside. Let's keep the issue of religion aside. Let's keep any selfish ambition aside and equally try the Igbos. They have not been used in this country completely. We have not been using Igbos. We have not been giving them ministers. We have not been giving them any position in this country. In this country. So please, it is my opinion that I'm saying. And because I am saying that we should give Igbo a chance, does not mean that we don't have people from the northern part of the country that can, that can govern us well. But I am saying we should give the Igbo. Let them equally try their own luck. Let them try their best. Me, I strongly believe they will make it. And they can make this country to be a better place. That is my opinion. So thank you. Come, let me tell you the major problem of Nigeria. The major problem of Nigeria is northern part of the country. Northern Nigeria are the major problem of Nigeria. If you want to see conflict, northern Nigeria. Rape, northern Nigeria. Refugees, northern Nigeria. Thieves. In fact, if you want to see thieves stealing on an industrial scale, come to northern Nigeria. Thieves fully engaged in primitive accumulation, come to northern Nigeria. In fact, I am from northern Nigeria. I am proud to be an indigenous of Borno State. I am from Borno State. I am proud to be an indigenous of Borno State from the northern part of the country. But I want to tell you that the major problem of this country is northern part of the country. These are people, if you want to see hatred, if you want to see conflict, if you want to see nepotism, cronyism, any other thing you can label. In fact, northern problem, if you carve out southern part of the country from Nigeria and give it 10 years, they are going to be recognized among community of nations because of the development they will have. 70% of the people who govern this country are from the northern part of the country. But if you want to see hunger, starvation, and any other thing, it's from the north. Why? We are the major problem. But our people doesn't want us to be speaking the truth. And that is why we continue to somersault in this kind of issue. So please, me, I am on the opinion. 2027, let's give Igbo a chance. Because I strongly believe, in fact, I am enthusiastically strong belief that the the Igbos can be able to handle these countries at least because they have economic infrastructure to fix this country. Look at what is happening today. Look at what is happening today. In fact, on a daily basis, on our television screen, what you see, there are sad news. There are sad news. There is no single thing, no opportunity that has not been given to the northern part of the countries, but they have not been utilizing it appropriately. So please, Let's give Igbo a chance. That is my opinion. Let's give Igbo a chance. I strongly believe Igbo can be able to handle this country economy. Let's give Igbo a chance. That is my opinion. Me, I'm speaking my opinion. And because I'm saying we should give Igbo a chance, let's keep our, our differences aside. Let's keep the issue of ethnicity aside. Let's keep the issue of religion aside. Let's keep any selfish ambition aside and equally try the Igbos. They have not been used in this country completely. We have not been using Igbos. We have not been giving them ministers. We have not been giving them any position in this country. In this country. So please, it is my opinion that I'm saying. And because I am saying that we should give Igbo a chance, does not mean that we don't have people from the northern part of the country that can, that can govern us well. But I am saying we should give the Igbo. Let them equally try their own luck. Let them try their best. Me, I strongly believe they will make it. And they can make this country to be a better place. That is my opinion. So thank you.